Okay, Debbie, you got this. Wait, what were you saying about, like, the head of Orochi? No, I, no, no. I, Lillian Engel is the head of Orochi, and she's not part of the morning. Why? What are you talking about? I, I think I must have misread it. Like, he said, like, like you said she is interested in what this installation knows about Egypt, and I just heard it like she is interested in what's going on in Egypt. Like I, mi huh. I missed some like oh, okay yeah uh, so yeah you misread it yeah I'm well I've, I missed some important context there yeah okay that yeah that didn't make any sense come on yeah I know right I Lillian Angle is a part of the morning light that's freaking weird yeah let me clarify our position we don't take orders from Orochi we don't flush out molds for Orochi we don't file share with Orochi. We have an entire department dedicated to scratching backs and doing favors. You're not part of it. Look, I get it. You want to go above and beyond out there. We'll take a look at this data just as soon as Cassini runs it through every virus checker known to man, and we're already convinced this isn't all some elaborate ploy to fuck with our system. Fun fact, wouldn't be the first time. No, it would not. More than a few of those attempts were me. Heh. <laughs> me old joe that's what everybody here calls me on account of young joe ami's brother did you know also i'm bold to admit because i'm a very old man no no you're spry these days i guess you could call me a, a story keeper I don't tell them anymore. Nobody wants to listen to an old man telling even older stories. The only thing that matters to the young ones is the present. And those who have been here a while, they prefer to look to the future, not to the past. So, I keep the stories, but I don't tell them anymore. Not unless someone comes and asks, or if they're outsiders and don't know not to encourage me. I like him. I hear the serpent. He whispers. Don't listen to him. Oh, lies. They bring darkness. Do you just fall asleep while I was talking to him? He's old. He's really old. Thought you said he was spry. The earth trembles. They are coming. Drums in the deep. Oh. Pardon me, I've been dozing off at all hours of the day. God sleep hard to find. For both the living and the dead. When we sleep, we dream. And when we dream, we speak with our ancestors. Our spirits connect with the spirits of those who came before us. But this leaves us vulnerable. Ever since they began working the quarry again, there have been nightmares. Someone or something has entered our dreams and causes us great unrest. There was a time when the webs of the dream catchers would hang outside every home. The webs would catch the dark dreams that can poison us in our sleep. They would protect us when we were at our most vulnerable. But our tribe has forgotten the ways of old. We no longer heed the warnings of those who came before. We no longer honor them. Our ancestors' dreams are being poisoned by the serpent that sleeps beneath the hills, and they in turn have brought those nightmares into our world. 
Their spirits are fearful. Exiled from their sanctuary in the afterlife, they are doing the bidding of dark whispers, and they can no longer protect us when we slip into the dreaming. Or when we're awake. We must help them. We must catch their dreams so that we can all sleep soundly again. I don't know how metaphorical he's being. Let's just assume that metaphors are the same thing as reality now. Quick access inventory updated. Fair enough. I mean, there was that whole thing about, you know, psychic injuries nearly killing me. Yeah. The darkness war screeched the dream catchers. The medicine men, the dream dancers, conjure wards with doodlebug spirals in the shuddering earth. The Cyclopean malevolence must be kept dreaming. The sleeper must never awake. Oh man, there's a lot of powerful nasties around you. Yeah, I've seen the bear. Bear. Whoa, wait. Authentic Wabanaki village. Okay, I, I can see like four diff four things wrong with this right here. Turn and pulse? Yeah. I'm counting those as two. What's the other two? Well, there's a TP back there. Yeah, okay, that's a little off. Yeah. And uh, they use the word authentic. What's wrong with authentic? Well, aside from it being a lie. Yeah. <laughs> we. Oh, shit! Okay, there's a tour guide. The tour guide wants to kill me. Look. <laughs> Sorry for feeding the animals, okay? Yeah. So as for what as for the question of cultural appropriation, I think this is a whole new wrinkle. Yeah. I mean, at least the wigwams are authentic, I think. Are they? I thought, I thought, it was like, I thought they were like a longhouse people. I think they did both. Yeah. yeah I, am not, I am not sure. I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing they didn't do. Fucking horses... Yeah, there's very little need for horses in the in you know the forests of New England. Also, very little horses in New England a thousand years ago. By which I mean none. This is true, and I mean we're not even talking like a culture that adapted to it, yeah. like you know the Plains Indians did. But you know, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, well, looks like their alpha wants to you know oh my. take this claim here. Oh my god, go back. That's a the Sasquatches. I just, I didn't even realize that was a deer, and I said, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Sasquatch is killed here. Oh my god. Okay, you're going uh, down. Yeah, no one fucks with the horses and the deer and the Sasquatch. I just checked. Wigwams are like the southwest. This is not even... The, close to anything on this side of the continent. Oh. Well then. Well then why do the Wendigo like it so much? Maybe they don't. Maybe they're angry at it. And again, Wendigo are demons. Maybe they like that it's like a perversion. And I don't know. I'm not going to psychoanalyze a Wendigo. More sickness than species. Their accursed metabolism is a torture. However much they consume, they can never be sated. The black hole can only widen. It is a cycle of feast, famine, and fury. The cycle stretches the beast's unnaturally long lifespan. Oh, these things are fucked up. Well, I mean, they sure seem to be making themselves at home. I... I guess? Oh, see, this is a longhouse. This is correct. Okay, yeah, yeah. This... Yeah, so longhouses, that's correct. Good job. You got something right. Yep.
Is that in the porta potty? Behind. Oh, it. thank God. The Algonquin call it Wichiga cannibalism, even to save one's life in extreme hardships of famine, was considered a serious taboo. One should sooner resort to suicide or starvation than to eat human flesh. Their fears were not unfounded. Ugh, man. So I found a way to avoid the Akab. This is smart. Okay, mostly, mostly avoid them, mostly. Look, it's it's better than not avoiding them. Wait a minute. I can teleport. Oh yeah, you can you can teleport. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. How do I keep forgetting that? Yeah, me too. <laughs> you can teleport too? Yeah, I mean when well you know, when I'm around you. Oh, so that's Remember, what's going on I, here. I teleported with you that one time. Oh yeah. So these are ans nightmares of the ancestors. Oh Jesus. That's what... So, let's wait for everyone to get close, I guess. Maybe we can use the Dreamcatcher on them. Oh, come on. Come back here. Wait, I'm... is a Dreamcatcher just like a ghost trap or a Pokeball? I don't know. Fair enough. Gotta catch them all. Okay, oh, that did not... Nightmare Whoa, enemy. hold on a second. These are the same as the things that were in the kids' dream, remember? Oh, the kids, yeah. The, there's a, remember that? Yeah, yeah. kids running around? Shit. It's the exact same thing. Wait, was it not Wabanaki spirits that killed those people? That family? It might have been. I mean, Franklin said, you know, she thought that they had put a curse on it or something. I don't know if they really had to, but yeah. Man, I don't even know who the good guys were supposed to be anymore. Well, I mean, these are the spirits. I mean, maybe, maybe the like the Wabanaki people didn't curse it, just, you know. I mean, probably, yeah, that's true. Ancestral land anger or whatever. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, I can't, you know, say they're not justified. Come back here. Come back here and let us bring you into a mortal form and then kill you. Come here. Are you just like holding up the dream catcher, waving it at them? Basically. It's not like it's not like a butterfly net. How do I use it then? I don't know. I I rescind my comment. Don't criticize unless you have a better idea. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Did I just say that? There we go. Yeah, yeah you did. Oh dear. You said it again. Okay, now I'm just gonna teleport. Yeah. Static. Just static all day. No soaps, no sitcoms, not even a goddamn info commercial for spray on hair. This is no way for an old man to live out his golden years. I heard you gave respite to some of our restless spirits. Did you bring me their dreams? Their dreams are tainted, tormented. Our ancestors are being fed lies and denied rest. They are led astray, brought into our world to fight for the very thing they swore to oppose, and they don't know it. Hmm. The serpent that sleeps and dreams beneath the mountain 
is waking up. This is much, much worse than I feared. We must go to them. To the afterlife. The filth has infected their land, and though we can free Wait, the what? What? ancestors who have crossed over into our world, it will not end before the filth is removed from theirs. There are numerous things about that. Yeah, what? What? Living into the world of the dead. It requires preparation and courage, and those who make the journey are not certain to return. But it is the only way to stop this cycle before it is too late. Well, it is. What are you waiting for? We're none of us getting any younger. Well, um, <laughs> I might be. What, really? Yeah, I've noticed some wrinkles disappearing. I mean, that might be like a confidence thing. Huh. Interesting. You, you, you said like you could still be affected, you know, by psychosomatic things. Maybe... Resolving, you know, what you what you had is helping you feel better about yourself. Huh. Could be. I hope so, in any case. Well, it's not really, you know, it's never really resolved. It's just... You deal with it. Yeah, there's going to be a... There's... Since, you know, we're dealing with in the realm of literal metaphors... Yeah. I'm, uh... Yeah, there's going to be a scar. Mm-hmm. Ashes of forgotten soul, gaze of the skin eater, feather of a devoted guardian, shawl of the mountain. Okay. Oh, it's a fetch quest. But what I was thinking was, um, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh, some herbs, that should take care of part of it. You, you can't just get this from the gift sh uh, all right, it's your vision quest. She's like, it's dangerous. Is it, we're not sure if it's going to work. No, not everybody who goes who does this return, which is why we're making the white person do it. Basically, I don't blame them. Nope. Trying to get a gore strength ancient. Ew. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, you got you got his eyes. Okay. It's good. It's good that you have those. Hey, zombie tourist guide's back. Go oh, come on, will you not stay dead? Obviously no. It's a zombie. It's... <laughs> I miss when dead things stay dead. I... I don't. Not entirely. Okay, that's... Yeah, you, you have kind of benefited from that. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Wait, am I... Am I... Undead too? Or whatever... I'm not undead! Cut, you mean... Am, am I immortal too, then? I don't know. And like, what? You want to test it? I mean, I am curious. Like, what do you think would happen? Uh, best not to press your luck. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. No, sorry. Besides, it really hurts. I, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I. No, no, no. We're not. We're not talking about this. We're not. We're not talking about this. So, gashes of a specter. Now, apparently they leave behind ashes when I re-kill them. Sure. Which means they must have a physical substance to them. Well, I mean, they can, like, hurt you. Yeah, but that's just... Maybe it's kind of like a demi-lich with it just, like, animating the remains of their mortal body or whatever. Maybe. 
Well, now I need to get them from these zombies over here. All right. All right. Gotta bring these back to old Joseph, see what he's gonna do with them. Yep, yeah, let's go fucking into the afterlife. Okay, I'm not sure it's more, just more, um, unsettling to me. What? The fact that he's going to send me bodily into the afterlife, or that he needs to. Ooh, boy. I mean, I would hope he's not just doing it for kicks. I mean, like, no, like, because he said the filth is in the afterlife. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello there. You think we all have the same afterlife? I don't know. Oh, he just wants me to throw them in the fire myself. Sure. Yeah, you, you you just take that bullet. <laughs> Everything is ready. We can begin. I'm afraid you're going to have to inhale. <laughs> I know all about that. <laughs> you're ready. Don't look at me. I, I don't know what's supposed to happen. Did you think you'd be whisked away to the afterlife through the magic of smoke? Maybe. A little bit, yeah. Many comic books. Time runs short. You take that back. Find what you need to fight this evil, to free our ancestors, and to protect our dreams from the filth. I'll keep an eye on the TV. I'm sure there'll be something good on sooner or later. You do that. Good. You're doing good work, old Joseph. So I wonder how I'm supposed to figure this out. I'll just take a deep breath. Okay, yeah, all right, I see this. Oh man, this is happening again. It's different now. Whoa. I see fire. No, wait, that's the barrel. What am I supposed to be following? I don't know, I think just Follow your heart. Oh, it's a it's a recent Indian burial ground. You don't hear too often about those. No. My heart says that's where I need to go. Yeah, go through the stargate. 